survive three days lost in the woods. It was like plump and juicy. You're watching WCBB TV Boston. This is News Center 5 at 11. The financial world reeling after another Dow disaster. Panicked investors selling off, causing a 634 point drop. The big question tonight is what's next? And the answer may not be good. Markets in Asia, Australia, New Zealand, all opening to sharp drops tonight. And all of this in reaction to the lowering of the U.S. debt rating. Our Mary Saladna is live in the financial district tonight. Mary, is there any reason to think that Wall Street can turn this around? Well, Heather, you know, Wall Street runs on confidence, and there's a shortage of that at the moment. In fact, it was a brutal day if you owned a 401k. The losses are mounting now. You can see the ticker showing red. Average Americans are seeing red as well. Call it a sucker punch to an already weakened U.S. economy. The S&P downgrade sent stocks tumbling all over the globe. On Wall Street, the market was down almost 6%, extending a 12-day sell-off that's erased more than 15% from the Dow. By midday, the president was trying to calm investors' fears. Warren Buffett, who knows a thing or two about good investments, said if there were a quadruple A rating, I'd give the United States that. But the cumulative damage was done. More than two trillion in stock market wealth wiped out. The average investor saw some $16,500 erased from their 401k statements. I think the most likely scenario is that we continue to chug along or muddle along in this economy rather than fall into a double dip recession. But that provides a little solace for the millions that are still not only unemployed but have been unemployed for several years now. Standard and Poor's also downgraded mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie. Mac today, a move likely to raise mortgage rates and damage an already fragile housing market. This from the agency that missed the Enron crisis, giving that failed company high ratings until the day it went bankrupt. They gave a triple A rating to toxic waste mortgages and gave an A rating for Lehman Brothers just before the investment bank went under. It's no wonder average Americans are frustrated. There's blame to go around for everyone. You can blame the government for the gridlock in the economy. You can blame Wall Street for not doing the right thing by ordinary Americans. And despite all the volatility, the experts are telling us to stay calm. America is still a safe bet. Tomorrow, the Federal Reserve meets. The hope is that Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke can somehow have a calming effect on Wall Street. Live in Boston's Financial District, I'm Mary Saladin in News Center 5. And when the president spoke today, the markets were already way down. But in this time lapse, you can see how the Dow really tanked after he finished his speech. Investors did not seem comforted by the president's statement that Washington needs more common sense and compromise to control the debt. It is confusing, very confusing for most of us. So we took some of your most pressing questions to our financial expert, Dana Levitt. Listen. If we sell, we know 